So welcome everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia. Today, going to share um, a video with you on changing the sound from the original factory sound to um, a server not SMB. Um, the original factory sound works a bit different. It's got um, a wire for every single function, the tracks, the boom, uh, the stick, the bucket, uh, or the slew body, and that goes in parallel to that particular channel, and that's where it gets its trigger or its sound from. Um, the SMB from server node is a bit different. You actually have to mix every single function. It, it does have a better sound, but there was another beep in this machine that I didn't like, and hence I'm migrating from the original sound to the SMB. Now, the original sound gets power supply from this particular wire, and then it gets the signal to trigger the sound from every single channel, which is uh, what you can see up here. The server node is different. It's got two wires, and I'll show you that shortly. And um, you have to mix it on the radio to actually get the sound for the tracks and the boom. So um, I'll go into a little bit of detail. If you ever plan to pull this machine out, there's a few screws uh, let me bring it in here closer. So there's two screws up here. You can see inside the body. And then there's two screws up here. It's very hard to see the screws on the inside. So unless you don't take those four screws, you won't get this section out up here. Um, the side walls, let me just bring that across up here. So on these side walls, they're pretty much the same on both sides. They actually, it goes this way. So you need to actually take the screws at the bottom up here first. And then there's also screws on the top up here. Once you take those, then you can actually wriggle this thing, shake it, and the whole thing will come out. So it's pretty much the same on, the, on both the sides. I'll bring the camera a bit more closer so you can see what I mean. So there's two screws, one up here, one on the other side, and then there's screws, uh, there's two screws up here. There's one up here, and then there's the other one up there. And that'll take the front part out, and then you've got screws up here. It, it, it actually locks itself into this notch over here. Let me just get the camera closer so mm -hmm. you can see what I mean. Let me just get it into focus. Okay, so if you take these bottom screws out here, the side panel will actually come out. Um, let's go into a little bit detail since I've got everything pulled out. You can actually see the layout of the machine. Now, for those of our customers who actually bought this machine from us, we do organize um, uh, free replacement valves because these valves were leaking. So all those they've already been contacted. So if you're a customer and bought the machine from us, you probably already would have got a replacement valve. Uh, there's a complete kit that includes the brass pipe, all the valves, uh, you don't get the servos, you do get the server mounts, and then there's a suction line on that side. So all of that stuff will be included and being posted out to you. Uh, what else do we have? We have a manifold up here that distributes all the oil, so you don't have the bends and the creases in the hose. It actually comes into this manifold and is then again supplied again from the other side and then distributed to the right section of the light piping and the hoses. This is actually the three speed controllers. The top two are for the tracks. The bottom one is for the slew body. You have a, a relay mechanism up here. The power supply then goes in. It's switched on. The relay actually comes in contact. You have a little switch. Uh, bring this closer on this particular box up here. And when you press the switch, it sends a low voltage signal that activates the relay and hence the relay then activates and then supplies power to this. And then that gives power to the speed controller, which goes into the motor itself. Um, you have the pressure transducer up here and there's a little cable up here. And this cable then has a connector. The connector then goes in and then you have a screen that tells you uh, the system pressure you also have a visual display on the gauge up here that tells you the pressure but the transducer pressure transducer is just underneath the valve gauge up here uh, on the other side here is uh, uh, the pressure regulating manifold there is um, a screw up here and this particular screw has an o-ring so all of you those who have this machine and you have a slight leak you need to change the o-ring because the original one had a cross-section diameter of one mil, but it should be 1.2 or 1.5. 
So once again, if you bought that from us, contact us and we can send you that O-ring. It's not a big uh, issue up here. There are some switches um, up here. Uh, highly recommend you don't touch them. There are three switches for the three speed controllers. They must stay on. That's how they get their power. If you move the switch and power the radio, they may go into a setup mode that can cause all kinds of problems. So if you're not, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch them because they'll just give you plenty of grief and then you've got to go back and, and reassign uh, the settings on your speed controller, which causes a lot of problems. Now, what I've done, I don't know if you can breathe, you can see it up here. You can see a white section up here. That's where I've hidden my SMB sound system. Uh, there are four wires that you will see. Uh, I've got these two blue wires and these two blue wires come from the sound module and they go into two sets of speakers and hence you got two reds and two blacks. And these two ones will give you the sound and the speakers actually hit and I believe it's up here. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's where the speakers are. So that's what that's what those two wires are for. Um, then there are two other cables. Uh, these two server cables, the white one will actually give you the trigger for starting the engine. The blue one is the actual mixing of the sound for each of the functions that you need. And then finally, you have the volume control up here. So uh, what I've done is I've just pulled everything apart. I'm using um, a Jetty radio, probably the best one that you can buy, uh, better than any of the radios out there in the market. This is uh, the top of the range uh, Jetty, the highest spec radio that you can buy. It's 24 channels and it runs both 2.4 has well has uh, 900 megahertz as a backup. Uh, I'm using a 14 channel receiver that you can see up here. Um, and I'm going to position it and then reroute all the wires, cut them to the right size, recrimp them so it looks nice and tidy. So that's where uh, I am at this stage. Once it's all completed, I will uh, go into uh, another video showing you the sound function and how it's all done. As usual, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or email us. Uh, you can buy this machine, the radio, or any of those things that you see in the video from our website. There will be a link below. And thank you for watching.